What's up guys, it's Mike with King of Avalon Follower here to do a quick video at the request of one of our YouTube users. He asked if I could show a video about my dragon. Okay, so first of all, the most important thing about the dragon is his name, Dr. Lil Papa. The reason that's so important is because you never ever get to change the dang thing and nobody ever gets to see it, so I'm not exactly sure why we even get to name him, but that's his name. Anyways, let's take a quick look at the different things that I have on my dragon. Number one, how do I have him specced? Um, I have him primarily in Assault, and I'll give you some reasons about that, but I also have a healthy amount of points in Guardian, okay? Now, ideally, if you are going to be a damage-producing... Um, member of your alliance and you want to do the most damage you want to have him mostly specced in the assault category okay with most of your points spent over here the reason is you can see right here the buffs that i get i have a increased oh, what is it do 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 um increase the health of all of your troops attacking alongside your dragon by 10 percent. okay that's good makes me more lethal i can take more damage when i'm fighting someone else but look what happens if we get that all the way over Okay, it's increased the attack, defense, and health of all of your troops attacking alongside your dragon by 10%. That's much better, okay? Having a black dragon, and what I mean by black is when you get it over here, your dragon goes from red to black. Having a black dragon makes you far more lethal. Now, the reason I don't have it black is because I'm still in the process of leveling up, okay? I'm a 22 stronghold. Um, I've been able to get to level 22 playing pretty consistently for the last four months. Um... I have a lot of points spent over in the Guardian section because I want to be able to gather resources quickly. As you can tell right now, I'm actually gathering, let's see, I think I have four slots going. Oh, no, one just came back. Okay, three slots going. I spent a lot of time gathering, okay? You need a lot of iron and stuff to upgrade. So, more specifically as to how I have my dragon spec, let's take a quick look. Um, I have, obviously, food is one that I don't gather as much. If you've watched my other videos, food and wood are very easy to gather. So I don't have them increased as much. I very rarely ever gather food. And in fact, I never gather wood. So I'll probably end up, when I respec my dragon at some point, taking all those points out. I've got my traps uh, increased to one star and also upgraded to seven and eight. But they're not quite as important to me as this one which is increase the gathering speed of your troops for all resources. And when I think about that, I'm thinking of iron and silver. And then when we come down to iron, I've got iron enhanced to one star, upgraded to level 10. And I have silver increased to one star, upgraded to level 9. I want these up high because they are the most difficult resources to get. Okay, that's why I have those put in there. The other thing we can look at, if we go to monster, um, being able to do level 30 barbarian camps, I have, you can see right here, Increase the health and infantry against monsters and barbarians, and then increase the health of your bowmen against monsters and barbarians. I have those upgraded to eight, increased to one star, because I want to be able to take down level 30 captains, do the portal more effectively, um, and things like that. But my attack is what I have increased the most. First of all, my march capacity, most important thing you can do. I've got that upgraded to 13. The more troops you send, the more lethal you'll become. Upgraded to 13, enhanced to 2 stars, I'm trying to get it to 3. Wounded, conversion, the next most important one in my opinion. When you're on the attack against other players, you are going to lose troops. Being able to reduce the amount of troops that you lose every battle is significant. Reduces healing time, reduces healing cost, makes you more effective longer. So that's my second highest one. Um, and then over here, I've just uh, got my bowmen versus infantry. I, I personally choose to increase the attack of my units versus other people's infantry because as I've explained in other videos, your infantry is your shield for your other units. If I can take out their infantry, then the rest of the units are going to fall. So bowmen versus infantry, uh, bowmen versus siege, cavalry versus infantry, and then I have winged heels, okay? And this is one that I probably am going to end up re reducing um, because I don't necessarily care as much as this, about the speed simply because the increase to your speed is so minimal it does virtually nothing you'll get more speed boosts from your items that you can wear so that's what i have focused most of my points on for attack uh defense again you're going to see these are a little bit lower because i don't want to spend quite as many guardian points because i want the attack bonus gathering uh we talked about this already wooden food kind of minimized and then monster i want to be able to do higher level monsters so i've got some of my assault skills in here and then a couple of gathering skills when i get probably to level 25 i will respec um, and I will make sure that I have a black dragon. So I'll probably take the food and wood out of here so that way um, I can find myself over here on this 
uh, black section where the dragon will be. The last thing I'll show you real quick, uh, enhanced skills, just so you can do a quick overview here. Again, what I have enhanced to two stars, one star, one star, one star, one star, two star, two star, two stars. Um, saving up to make things three stars and then four stars and then Guardian will scroll through those and you can compare this to your own dragon. Again, this is not a video on what you need to do to be the best. This is my own personal opinions, why I have it spec this way, what I plan to change in the future. Um, if you got any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments and thanks guys for watching.